What's going on, everybody? It is Mike Went, and thanks for checking out the channel. First and foremost, I'm starting to add some new content here to the channel, a lot of GTA content. I was going to start doing this stuff in January, but with Kyle Perico dropping this week, I couldn't resist. This is going to be what was updated at the Diamond Casino and Resort on Cayo Perico Day. Of course, the Pegasi Osiris is the car on the wheel. That's going until December 21st, if I'm not mistaken. I believe December 21st is when the next wheel will spin. Pegasi Osiris, cool looking car, man. I dig it. If you don't win it and you're a Twitch Prime member, my suggestion would be head over and check out. There's a couple cars on sale right now. One's 80% off, one's 70% off. That drops their prices down to like 560 and like 860. And since the Pegasi Osiris retails for about 1.95 million, you'd be getting a better deal if you want one of those, you know, super cool super cars. But the real update at the casino, not including the music locker, we'll get there, is in the gift shop. They have added customizable private card tables for your penthouse. Check these out. So, of course, it's Christmas, it's winter. We got to drop some Christmassy winter things. This is the blackjack tables. There's five different versions of blackjack tables you can check out. We got the winter one. We got, of course, Rock Flag and Eagle, America. And uh, this is kind of cool. This is like the, uh, the red casino shirt that we got for free maybe a month or so ago. Uh, the gemstone blackjack table, clean, black, cool-looking this is the one I'm going with, definitely. Bandit blackjack table. It's very red dead. You got the skulls. You got the guns. I mean, it's just, it's cool looking. 125,000 chips. This is definitely one I'm going to put up in my penthouse. For three-card poker, we got four different options. Uh, first up is the koi fish. Very tranquil. This is, the, again, this is the one I'm going with in my penthouse. It's red. It's very red dead. You got the gold guns, double gold guns. It's just a cool looking table. I'm not a huge fan of poker in the Diamond Casino. I'm more of a blackjack guy, but I am really digging the poker over on Red Dead. So that's going to be the one I'm going with. The The Lucky Roll one is very just casino-y. It's very your generic basic casino. And then, of course, the I dig the purple and diamonds got a diamond, but I'm definitely going with Bandit Blackjack Table revolver poker table and the skull and guns over on the blackjack table and uh let's put these bad boys to use let's see them in their element i've posted uh, on reddit and uh, i've seen a couple people uh where the gambling is banned in their country that sucks it's a bummer but it is what it is but these look really really cool for your private dealer in your penthouse at the diamond this was one of the last things i actually added much like i'm sure most of you the last thing was actually the movie theater but yeah, it's it's come in kind of uh, it's been kind of a cool, relaxing place, the private dealer, where me and a couple of friends will get on, but we don't feel like you know overexerting ourselves or or you know running guns and drugs up and down the highways all night. We just sit and we uh, we break each other's balls. We play a little blackjack, and uh, it's a way to have some fun. And sometimes you actually collect some chips occasionally. All right, one hand. So that's what I've been doing: dropping one hand, maximum bet fifty grand. Let's see what we get. Three. Fourteen. Uh, okay. What give me another one? Come on, man. Let's see what we got going here. Okay. Fifteen. One, one more. Here we go. All the aces. I'm just clearing up all the aces. We're gonna stay on sixteen, because I think this guy's got nothing. I think he's got nothing. Dealer busts. Booyah. Hundred grand. Take it walk away so yeah those, those are the uh the blackjack and poker tables now if you own a penthouse you also get the luxury of having the music locker added to all the elevators in the casino whether it's from your penthouse or from the lobby elevator bing goes the bell take you i guess down or over i don't really know the elevator system in the diamond it's a little weird but nevertheless here we go moody man spinning it's, it's kind of a cool club. I, I don't see much use of it other than just kind of, uh, I don't know, making these videos more than anything else. It's a little smaller than the club that we own in the game. Two floors, one bar. I think I found two bathrooms. There's a small VIP section. 
And one of the cool things is there's two Moody Man missions that Tom Connors will task you with. And if you complete them, that gives you access to the DJ booth here. So you see my guy in his nice little Miami Vice villain suit there. I dig it. White on pink or pink on white, whichever way that goes. I'm going to do a full video on the Moody Man missions themselves because obviously since I'm standing behind him, I completed them. You get to pick up Moody Man, which was funny because it was literally like maybe right after I bought my submarine, I got a text from Tom Connors being like, hey, we lost our DJ. I'm like, yep, the place just opened, man. How did you lose him already? So we're going to cover this mission here. And then there's another mission where I think you get to pick up like sneakers or something. It, it's, it's weird. It's very quick. But nevertheless, that gives you access to the DJ booth. Not very exciting, but you can dance behind the DJ if that's what you're into. And then there's a there's a couple of drink options that have been added. And actually one completely new drink added with the Kyle Perico Heist update here in the, uh, the music locker. And that would be... I'm going to try to say this. I might butcher it, but Casa Fortuna's tequila. Casa Fortuna's tequila. Very cool looking bottle. You can see it on the table with the Madrazos. I want to say Madrazos. Madrazos. And then if you uh, head upstairs to the bar, as you see, I own a penthouse, so you get the free option there. You can pay for it if you don't. Casa Fortuna's tequila, miss. One, please. It's a cool presentation. I dig the whole thing. Like, uh, you know, you get the pour, you get the training wheels, you know, lime and salt. Boom. There you go. A little salt. Get the lime. Here's to you. Salt. Shoot it back, brother. Suck that lime. You know, it's a little better because every time you do the same, if you, if you get a drink in the game, you get the same thing. It's just, you know, here's a drink. Some talking from the bartender. Guy does a shot and just gets banged up real quick. Our characters here in the game do not handle their alcohol well. And the Casa Fortuna's tequila, it bangs you up, and it bangs you up pretty quick. Not quite Macbeth level. You don't black out, <laughs> but the, the dude staggered quite a bit. I removed uh, all the, the drunken blurriness for the video. But yeah, he stumbles quite a bit. And then you can make your way down to the VIP where the Madrazos apparently live now. Like 24-7, these dudes are just chilling. They're going to be here for the long haul. Drinking, drugging, dancing, having a good time, having a good time, taking selfies. So you can dance with them, you can hang with them, you don't really interact with them, which is weird. Or there's the other service where, see these little tables here, boom, you can get table service. And if you're going to get table service, silver, gold, that's for peasants. You go with the diamond, 150000 Of course, I did this just for the video. It took everything in me to be like, oh, do I have to spend 150000 just for this video? But hell yeah, we got to do it. Let's see what they do here at the Music Locker. See what the diamond is presenting. And sure enough, did not disappoint. A uh, waitress comes from the back with a, a flare or a sparkler, whatever the hell you want to call it, coming out of the top of the bottle. From the top bar all the way down the staircase, and we're just hanging in the VIP, seeing what's going to happen. People dancing. They, look, they pack the club, which is the, the nice part about it. You don't got to keep your popularity up. They do it for you because uh, that's a pain over at our own clubs. And then, uh, yeah, she brings her bottle. And then this is your standard animation. If you've ever gotten champagne service in your penthouse at the bar or during a party or whatever you throw... They bring down the bottle or they give you the bottle. The bartender just hands it to you, I think. There's not even a presentation like that. Like, that was actually a pretty cool presentation. And then standard animation. The dude sits there, shakes it way too friggin' long. Just shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a When is this thing going to burst? Come on, man. <laughs> I've accidentally exploded beers quicker than that. <laughs> and there you go. You hose down the place. Again, no interaction with either Madrazos or the couple that's always chilling off to the left there. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're, hanging, they're having a good time. You finish off. There you go. One drink, $150,000. Was it worth it? Of course it was. And then you go sit down and uh, you get ignored by the Madrazos, even though you're doing all the work for these people. And then you just uh, you sit and you relax and you contemplate all of your choices that you've made in this game. 
And those are the updates in the Diamond Casino and Resort with the uh, the Kyle Perico heist update. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I really am. I'm taking it slow. Uh, so that's why uh, I'm going to be dropping these videos, but I'm going to be like slow dropping them out. I did one on the radio stations that I want to put out. Uh, I did all the antennas that I'm going to put those out for you. Like I said, I did the Moody Man ones I'm going to drop. And then I'm going to slowly drop out some some stuff with the actual heist itself. But I'm enjoying this heist, man. I'm taking it slow. I'm, I'm absorbing all the content. I'm having a good time with it. I hope you are as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe hit the like throw a comment in there let me know what you liked what you didn't like i'm open to feedback on this one this is the first one of these i'm doing and uh, i'm looking forward to many many more and we're gonna start doing some live streaming i think in january so i'm just gonna kind of build up the channel and we're just gonna have a bunch of fun here on gta and we're gonna try to throw some red dead in as well thanks for joining me once again this is mike went please hit subscribe please hit like please comment Please share the video, and I'll see you next time around Los Santos.